I've had a lot of guys in my comments comment on how they don't like the fact that they got to change themselves for women. Or I, I got a few comments I actually want to read here that pertain to this topic specifically. So this first one was a person that said, do what you want. If she loses interest, move on. Don't play stupid games. If you have to have a strategy to date her, good luck maintaining a relationship. So I do want to address that comment first, right? Here's the thing, guy. And, and this is the thing is that guys think that the, the best strategy to have is no strategy, is that they need to just be able to be themselves, whatever that means, and just go up to women and say whatever they want and do whatever actions they want and try to propose whatever dates they want and contact them whenever they want. And if the women don't like it, well, tough crap. I got news for you guys. That is a strategy. Anything that you're trying to do in order to get women is a strategy. The difference, though, is that some men get caught in their ego and thinking that how you are now is perfectly fine in terms of dealing with people. Because you're thinking, I'm this way around my friends and my friends and family accept me. So if a woman can't accept me exactly in this moment as I am, then I don't want to do that. I want to just be my authentic self and whatever. And so the strategy they have is, again, no strategy. Women typically feel more safe and secure around men that they feel know what they're doing with women. And that means that a woman actually wants you to have strategy because it is to their detriment if you do not. If you don't have a strategy, for example, and you're just like, I'm just going to do whatever kind of date with a girl. And then your proposal of a date is, hey, first date, girl I just meet online, come to my house. Most women aren't going to see that as a safe prospect of a date. Some women might be actually down for that, but the majority of women are going to be like, wait, so even if I wanted to hook up with this dude, he's not going to go through the rigmarole of like, take me on a date in public, outside, talking with me, getting me some wine, making me feel a little more loose and trusting of this guy before I go to his house. Like, he doesn't even have that kind of strategy. I'm not doing that. And so whether you decide to learn things to get women or just go as you are right now to get women, both of those are strategies. My my question is, is the strategy of not having a strategy, which is a strategy right now, actually working for you? Because if it's not, then you may want to consider trying to actually get an authentic strategy. Now, Here's the other comment that I got, and this was under the escort video where there was a guy that wrote me that said he had been trained by an escort on what women want, and now he was getting great results. And this guy expressed the frustration that a lot of guys uh, say, which is, what I get out of this is that you have to change yourself for women, which seems simply beta. It's ridiculous. You have to trick a woman into thinking you're alpha and confident when you might already be but you're just not being confident in the way she wants you to be, which again is totally selling yourself for a woman, which is not being strong in you and not being a real alpha man, in my opinion. I want to point out that I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out the ridiculousness of the game, women themselves and what Punani does to a man's head. So I'll address this comment as well. So I, this is in no way, anytime I'm telling you guys that these are certain things you need to do or things that you should consider changing up in order to get more women, that is not being beta. As I've said on the show before, if being your authentic self or being the self that you think you should be would get your results, we could all be the, the men now that we were acting like when we were like two or three years old. Like if we never had to change a single thing about ourselves and if changing something about yourself was absolutely beta, then we would all just be acting like children still. And what I find interesting is that men will complain about having to do, say, or change certain things about themselves to get women. And yet they will do that for every other aspect of their lives. I'll give you a small example. I am a videographer here in Los Angeles. When I started my camera journey in 2008, I was in Atlanta making videos from a Kodak camera that barely took video, right? And then I moved to California and I had done enough videos at the time to where I had a, a separate YouTube channel where I put videos up, they got popular. And so when I moved to LA, people saw those videos and were like, oh, he does good editing. 
we'll we'll hire him for editing stuff. Now, at from I went from editing stuff to then actually getting people to ask me to film things for them. I had a Kodak camera that was slow and took like grainy footage. If I were to say to, to these people, well, you know, I know you want to hire me. And so I'm going to take your money, but I'm going to use this basic camera that I have still, because you know what? This camera is perfectly fine as it is. And if you can't accept the camera that I'm working with, then I'm not going to work with you and whatever. Now I could do that. I would get no jobs. So what did I have to do? I had to upgrade to like a Sony camera or a Panasonic camera or some kind of DSLR camera that would also have higher powered lenses. And even then the cameras that, that I got came with basic lenses, but those aren't gonna look professional or get good quality on jobs. So I had to upgrade. The camera I'm using for you guys right now, when I started doing this show, I was doing uh, videos on my phone and doing videos on another camera that I had that was like a lower tier, right? I had to upgrade the lens. I upgraded, this is the GH5 camera that I also use for my professional gigs because it does 4K video. Now for streaming, it only does HD, but I still have 4K because other clients are gonna want that. Again, I'm now 16 years into my, doing videography for people. If I were to have said in 2024, I, I still should be using my camera that I got back in 2008 that just did basic video, I would not be able to elevate myself to higher in clients, to doing celebrity events, to having people trust my stuff enough to where they want to pay me a lot of money to do this. And, and so men understand that in the job world, like you can't be basic entry level forever. You eventually have to upgrade yourself, upgrade your skill set. And that sometimes means letting go of ways you used to do stuff because it doesn't serve you on this new job over here. So men don't understand that on a job sense, but then it comes to relationships and it's like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to change. I've been doing this this thing the way I've been doing it for years. And so even though it gets me no results, I'm going to feel weird about it. And so strategy, why would I do a strategy? Oh my God, that's tricking women. And so, yeah, I've seen that like these strategies can work, but I don't want to because I don't. Dude, everything you do in life involves strategy. When, when you're doing your homework, it involves strategy. When you're trying to apply for a job, that involves strategy. When you want to talk to your mom about something difficult that you want to do, but it, you, you want to be able to do it anyway, and you want to be able to calm her down so she won't get mad at you, that's a strategy. The majority of your life, when you're cooking food, they give you a recipe because the recipe is a strategy to what? Get the desired result that you want with your food. So I need you to get out of your head this idea that having a strategy with women is bad. It is not. It is actually the easiest way for you to start to get better with them, for them to trust you more and for you to get the results that you want. Now, he says this other stuff about you have to trick a woman into thinking you're alpha and confident when you might already be, but you're just not being confident in the way she wants you to be, which again is totally selling yourself for a woman. Well, understand, guy, not every woman is for you. And so to your point, you might be alpha and confident in a way that she doesn't like, but that doesn't really matter in, in the sense, because I know I've just said the thing about you know, obviously there's going to be changes in things that you make and strategies you bring about to be able to get women, but also, also know that some of these strategies involve doing things that suss out the wrong woman. So if you're alpha and confident and you come across a woman that's con that, that wants you to constantly text her all the time, or is constantly asking, well, when I don't see you, where are you going? Or are you touching other women? Guess what? You have a strategy that's going to help you remove yourself from women that are overly anxious or needy or desperate or have low self-esteem. And so that's fine. Like it's fine for you to build yourself up to where women actually see you and say, you know what? I'm actually not good enough for him because that means you've now hit a higher tier of the kind of women you can talk to and get with. And so again, it's not about tricking women. It's about really becoming quote unquote more alpha is really about you becoming more confident in what you bring to the table more confident in your abilities. It's about learning new skills or changing yourself in ways that are gonna be beneficial, not just to the women you date, but also to you. You know, you going to the gym and working out more, yes, you being more fit and slim will get you more women, but also it'll help you live longer. It'll make your breathing easier. It'll allow you to hook up for a woman for a long period of time without running out of air. Those things also benefit you. So I don't need you to think that I, because I have a strategy for dating women now, it's, it means it's trickery. And I'm going to get to a reason why in a minute, right? And then he says, 
I'm pointing out the ridiculousness of the game, women themselves, and the, what Punani does to a man's head. Well, to be fair, you know, Good D does the same thing to women's heads. And so they're going to be doing things on their end that are going to be able, that, that are trying to get you if they really like you and stuff. So And, and they're doing, they're making their own changes. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are stop. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.